Good morning. This is Mr. Higgins, and I am delighted to announce the Battle of the Books titles for this year, the 2020 to 2021 school year. First, we have Look Both Ways by Jason Reynolds, and this book is about 10 blocks, 10 stories about 10 blocks near a local school. It's a lot of fun, and I would encourage everybody to read it in the battle. The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. This book is about Alum Hill, who does not want to go anywhere near magic, but finds that his destiny is called up in magic. Another exciting book for the battle. This was once a Junior Book Award nominee. Nyxia, Mr. Higgins is hoping he is pronouncing this correctly, by Scott Wrightgen, about a young man named Emmett Atwater who goes off into space along with other people to earn an incredible amount of money in mine this particular mineral on a distant planet called Nyxia. But does the mineral offer some difficulties for him? Is there danger involved? Find out by reading this book, one of our Battle of the Books titles. Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga about a young lady named Jude. It is a Newbery Honor book. Jude is living her life in Syria, her homeland. But as many of you know, Syria is a very dangerous place. And this book is set in the present day. And so she and one of her family members go to Cincinnati to start a new life. Will Will Jude adjust to this big change? Find out. Prisoner B3087, based on the life of Jack Gruner. And Jack was a young man growing up in World War II Poland, and he was Jewish. And he ultimately got sent to a number of concentration camps. This is a fictionalized story of his life. And this is also a former Junior Book Award nominee by Alan Gratz, who I know many of you love. The New Kid, which actually won a Newbery Medal recently by Jerry Kraft. It's about Jordan Banks. He is a seventh grader, and he goes from a school very much like Myrtle Beach Middle School to a more upscale school downtown, and just really how he works out the challenges of going to this new place. A New Kid by Jerry Craft, And finally... Two more Battle of the Books titles, and I'm giving them special attention for a reason I think you'll see very quickly. Marcus Vega Doesn't Speak Spanish by Pablo Cartera. Marcus Vega is a young man who gets himself into a fight, and that gets him suspended, and so he is sent by his family to Puerto Rico to shape up. But unfortunately, Marcus Vega doesn't speak Spanish. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of this year's Junior Book Award nominees. I am so excited that we have Junior Book Award nominees as part of the battle of the books. We only have two, but this is wonderful. So please participate, and this will help you go... Uh, earn anything you need in regards to Junior Book Award nominees in addition to the Battle of the Books competition. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, Genesis begins again by Alicia Williams about a young lady named Genesis 
who is very depressed. She finds 96 things wrong with herself. Her father has a gambling addiction, and she feels tragically that she is too black. Now, through the course of the book, Genesis goes on a journey of rediscovery and finds that there's actually quite a lot to like about herself. Yet another Genesis, um, excuse me, yet another Junior Book Award nominee. It won a Coretta Scott's King Award and numerous other awards. Genesis Begins Again is a great choice for this year's Battle of the Books. So there you have it, our eight titles. I'm going to put all of this information up on the Battle of the Books Google Classroom page. What's going to happen is I am going to put the class code, or the class code should be rather, right under this video. And going forward, the Google Classroom page for Battle of the Books is going to have all of the relevant information there. But if you haven't decided yet to sign up for Battle of the Books, you now know the great titles we have, and you now know about the Junior Book Award nominees. I look forward to having everybody participate, or as many people as would like to participate. We've already got eight students, so those numbers are outstanding. But we can do even better. I will talk to you again soon. Take care.